Hey, welcome to the Hustlers Kung Fu Show, the business advice hotline. You can make your call at 404-558-811-24-7 because you're going to leave a recording and I never have my phone on anything other than silent, not even vibrate. But this episode is a group of calls I put together because I'm trying to pick and choose and to see how these, this thing is going to go. But one of the topics is how to make $50,000 a year picking. Uh, another topic is, is money a commodity? Uh, another topic is, I want to start a business, but I don't know where, to, where I want to start. So essentially, check it out. And then there's one topic that's really, really heavy. And I think you should listen to that. If you want to have your question answered, make the call, leave a voicemail. I'm not going to answer and state your full and last name. If you don't block your number, you don't have to leave your phone number in the message. And state your question, or a few questions, maybe two, maybe three. And if you are qualified, and qualified as someone who has a business who's making money from their endeavors, because if you don't have a business already, if you're still in that starting phase, just go below the video and I've got a lot of things for you that you can check to get you there. Some of them are free, some of them are not free, but you should do a lot of groundwork and start earning your first dollar or your second dollar or your third dollar before you should enter into the realm of consulting. And you'll also, there was another question about my services and how much I charge. So all of that stuff is in this episode of the Hustlers Kung Fu Business Advice show so with that let's jump into it and hopefully you'll learn something and for everyone that called in and for people who continue to call in thanks really appreciate it and i'll see you soon or maybe i'll give you a call back hey uh this is jay from south florida thanks for taking my question my question is um in your um book in your audio book the, the hustler's mindset you discuss um you commented on uh, the scarcity mindset and how to uh, avoiding it. You mentioned that money is a commodity. Um, I'm curious about that. I wanted to know if you could explain, expound on that a little bit further. Because that's something I kind of suffer from myself is the scarcity mindset where I feel like uh, I have to keep certain ideas and opportunities and things like that to myself because there's, there isn't enough to go around. So can you expand on that a little bit? I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much. When you're talking about money as a commodity, this is one of the big issues that people suffer from. Let's say you have this killer ideal, right? Great ideal. You're holding on to it. You don't want to share it with anyone because you think someone's going to steal your ideal. Here is the news flash. Just like everyone has an ideal, everyone has an asshole. And equally, they're both shitty because until your ideal is executed, validated, proven to be good, it is just that an ideal. You are more likely to get traction by sharing. Now, let's talk about money as a commodity. Money is everywhere. Right now, more than likely, you have some physical cash and either dollar bills, tens, twenties, hundreds in your pocket right now. And if you're in a room of five people, Everyone probably has some cash in their pocket. And if they don't have cash in their pocket, they have cash in the checking account or cash somewhere or money somewhere or cash coming in. So money is not scarce. Execution is scarce. Whatever ideal you have, you could go out and tell 100 people. I'm about to tell you a little story. I talked about it in another video, but I'm going to say it again. When I came up with my Craigslist dating process, I shared it with people. Step by step by step. Nobody could duplicate it. And I told them exactly what I did. Then I took one and I said, look, do this, do this. And I stood over him. I managed him. I treated him as a client. And results out the ass. So be really aware that just because you have an idea and you tell it someone, unless they're going to execute, they're not going to steal it. Because they're going to be too lazy to execute. So put your stuff out there, share it with people, talk to people. But I will say with this, if your ideal is still kind of fragile and new, don't actually share it with friends and family. Share it with strangers because they're not going to try to 
crush you because they don't know you. But many of your family members be like, mm, I don't know about that. And that little mm, could be enough to stop you in your tracks. Hi, my name is Marcy. Um, I was going through on the internet and I came up on your, your videos and stuff. So I um, just wanted to talk to you about um, you know, the service that you're offering in the, in the class. And um, I'm actually want I want to get into business and um, do life charting and you know do some stuff for myself. So um, just need some ideas. So my number is five four. Okay, let's talk about my services. Uh, for that caller, I'm going to recommend that you get the free audio book, Hustlers Mindset: Pimp Your Mind for Success. Then look for books, do a lot of research, do a lot of tr just due diligence. And to answer your question directly, I offer services through the Hustlers, HustlersKungFu.com, self-paced study, and then I offer hands-on training. Now, just to get to the meat of the matter, hands-on training is $6,500 up to $50,000 or more dependent upon what is expected of me so if you're looking for mentoring go in your community or score the retired executives or find some business person talk to them offer to clean up their office offer some kind of service if you want someone to talk to on the regular it's not going to charge you but if you're looking to start a business hands down the best course i have for that is 30 days to 2500 that's 250 if you're looking to hustle, there's the Craigslist stuff. Plus, I'm getting ready to do something else. So, thanks for your call. Stay tuned. Well, uh, thank you for uh, the information, Julian. Uh, my name is Samuel Richardson. I'm doing the Virgin Islands, and uh, I'm trying to get online business. I've been working at it for six years, and I understand some concepts and things are not working out. And I'm just looking for a couple of answers. I know you say it's a paid service, but uh, it would help a lot. Uh, you know, I'm one of those guys who's motivated and really want to do it. You know, I'm not going to give up. So if you can uh, reach out in maybe two or three minutes of your time or email me some kind of way so I can communicate. But I really would want to know, and it looks like you finally have the truth to what I need to know. And my number is And before I hang up, I'm looking for a remedy. I know you said nothing comes quick and easy, but I definitely want a way to start making money immediately. I know you cannot make millions, thousands in one or two days unless you get a lucky hit or whatever. We know that. I'm that far at least. But at least something that's going to consistently, like you say, bring in $120, $200, dollars the first month and then grow from there. I'm okay with that. But just something that's going to bring in money for real. That's what I'm looking for. And that's what I've had, not had. Okay, thank you so much for listening. You have a great day and look forward to your call or email. Thank you, brother. Hey, Samuel. Thanks for the call. This is what I'll do. You didn't really, I'll answer your question and just to put this out there. I'm not going to get on the phone two or three minutes with everyone because I would get nothing done. I mean, seriously, it's a wonderful problem to have, but nevertheless, I have to be a good manager with this. So what I'll do is answer your questions in the video. Now, you said something about wanting to make money quicker for real. Okay, this is what you do. You look at what you really know how to do well. You look at what you can do and make money now. Now, the, the thing is, often people don't like that thing or maybe they're sick of it. But that's what you can do to make money for real for fast, because if you're looking at let's just look at the realistic gravity of the situation. Here's this new thing, right? And say you spend a week learning it and you can make five thousand a month. How much is that worth? Let's look at it. You make five thousand a month, right? Well, in the, in the year, that's sixty grand. So it would be worth thirty thousand dollars. It would be worth five. It would be worth ten. It would be worth twenty. There are things out there. Sometimes when a doctor comes up with a new technique, they'll charge twenty grand for the, the seminar, and they're there for a week. But they know they can make hundreds of thousands of dollars from that information. So anything that is quick and fast that really works is not cheap nor free. Thanks for your call. I really appreciate it. Yes. Uh, hello, Mr. Cameron. Um, my name is Donald Ward. Uh, 
Yes, I was watching some of your videos on YouTube, and uh, there was one that stood up. Uh, it's a program of yours. It's called How to Make 50000 a Year Picking for Fun and Profit. I was trying to find out if that was a standalone course and if it was still for sale. Um, I, is it similar to um, the garage sale type things or the other programs you have where you could get things and resell them? Um, if so, I just wanted to know if it was a standalone product, uh, how much did it cost and uh, if it's still for sale. Uh, my email is Donald, and it's titled How to Make 50000 a Year Picking for Fun and Profit. I was just interested in that course. Um, yeah, so, um, you know, I, I would like some more information, and, um, you know, hopefully I will. Well, I'm definitely going to uh, get more involved and in, in purchase some of your uh, materials. All right, thanks for your time. Hey, Donald, Glenda Cameron here once again. Thank you for your question about how to make $50,000 a year picking for a living. Is it like the, ups, the garage sale book? No, it's not. Hey Donald, it's Glendon Cameron here. Thanks for your question. How to make $50,000 a year picking for a living. Is it like the garage sale book? No, it's not. It's not like any other book that's out there. When I had that program out, a few people jumped on it, but I took it away because I'm no longer, quote, a resale guy. I'm a business process guy. But this is how you do it. If you want to make $50,000 a year picking, you have to become really, really knowledgeable about one to ten things. Not a hundred things. You know, there are people who will tell you you have vast knowledge about all of these trinkets and items. You could literally pick tires if you become really knowledgeable about tires. You could pick scrap iron if you become, because all iron and metal is not the same. Some gets you more money than others. So it's really not about, quote, a thing. It's more about your knowledge base, what you know about, what you do well, and that's how you exploit the marketplace. Because, give you an example, go back and watch a few videos before this. It's called zero to 5,000 a month. Essentially, what Lisa did was find an item, became really, really good with it, and she only sells one item to do the $2,500 to $5,000 a month, just one. So, like I said, find one to ten things, know them inside and out, find out how to get them cheaply, find how to flip them, and then that's how you can make $50,000 a year picking. But once again, thanks for the question. And if you want more, just check under the video. Hello, oh, I'd just like to tell Mr. Glenn and Cameron, uh, thank you for all the wonderful content you've been putting out lately. It's been a joy listening to your YouTube and your everything you got. Appreciate it. Okay. I get a lot of emails and I've gotten a few calls like this. And so I want to say this is really really heavy very very heavy I think because I talk about things that happen to me that people want to share in this regard but this is just the tip of the iceberg I've got all kinds of emails like this that many people have been in a really bad situation they find the channel and since I'm not really trying to candy coat things or give them some fairy tale story or put on these rose tinted glasses that it resonates with people so once again it's uh, the guy called in, and uh, he is a suicide survivor. Just check it out. Mr. Cameron, my name is Bill G. And I have been studying your philosophy, your teaching, and your guidance for the last six months. I am a suicide survivor. I don't mean to alarm you. I just want to say thank you. And I will, once I become employed, be a part of your college. I will contact you through the email as you suggested, as I knew. But I wanted to reach out, uh, aside from coming down there, I'm not able to just yet, and just say thank you your 
teaching has been very therapeutic to me and for me. Thank you so much and enjoy your day, sir. To be of better service to you, this is something I did and what I'm doing is sectoring out hustlerskungfu.com. So yesterday in the Facebook group, which is a public group anyone can join, I asked this question, how did you hear about Glendon Cameron and what made you decide to join the group? And this was Saturday, right? You know, people are just out chilling and it's just going on and on and on and on and on and on. So what I'm going to ask is you go ahead to the Facebook group. It'll be the link will be below and join the group and just tell me where you found me, what type of video, what type of stuff you were interested in, because I've got people who were, you know, from the old days of storage auction stuff. I've got people from the mindset stuff. I have people from the YouTube stuff. And yeah, just go ahead and do me that favor. Put that there. And so I can get some more information from you, the community, on what I should focus the training on. And if you've got a question, be sure to hit up the number 404-558-8111. Once again, you can make a call 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, because it will be voicemailing. You will not be disturbing me because I think some people are like, well, I don't want to call too late because I don't want to disturb him. Don't worry about it. And with that, I will see you in the next episode. Hopefully I can do the phone calls once a week. I had a ton of calls. Some people might have called back. Some that were not appropriate to play on YouTube. <laughs> oh, man. But this is a lot of fun. And with that, you have a great day.